Oh man, that makes me want to cry. I love that little dog so much. You have no idea, man. I never thought I'd have a little mate like that, man. He's just so, so cool. But of course, you are our mates this morning. We want to hear from you in our culinary hotline. 021-430-9886. That's the number to dial. We've got uh, Nazim on the line right now from Cape Town as well. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you, Nusal. It's actually Nazima. Nazima, my apologies. Great no. to connect with you this morning. No problem. I've got a question for Zola. Yes. I love, love, love lasagna. Oh, yeah. But the cheese is always chewy. No matter what sheets I buy, what I do, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Zola, you look like you know. I know. Because you know. Do you know what? O oily cheese, like something like gouda or cheddar, when you cook it for such a long time with lasagna, it seeps its oil out. And that's why it becomes really mm. chewy. So, here's my recommendation. Between the layers, use Parmesan cheese. Okay. I know, I know. Like, everyone's like, what? what? Yeah. Like use delicious. Parmesan cheese. And actually, here's a shortcut. If you don't feel like making um, the white sauce, the bechamel sauce, yeah, yeah. use ricotta cheese. Wow. Mm. Mike's dropping everywhere. There are hacks just going, this is, this is a hack <laughs> session. There are hacks flying I know, all absolutely. over the place. So, and then your cheese, your strong cheese, so like if you want to use cheddar cheese because it browns really nicely and it on tastes the top, like a... <laughs> cook your lasagna covered with foil, then only near the end take it off so that the harsh heat can brown it can and make it all the top. crispy. Yeah. Exactly. Then the oil won't seep up so, out so much. And that's what makes it chewy. I understand. I understand that problem. It's a problem lots of people have. Yeah. But I love pain. lasagna, whether the cheese is chewy, <laughs> yes. whether it's not. I'll actually eat myself delicious. sore on lasagna. Me it's too. one of those foods. Yeah. You know? I'll, I'll, I'll hurt myself. My greediness comes out with lasagna. So I'm glad that we had someone um, asking a conundrum relating to cheese mm. because that kind of ties into our next question coming in online. Um, and this comes from Elizabeth Lambert, or Lambert, we will call you this morning. Hello, team. My hubby doesn't eat cheese. Ah, shame. Oh, the right pain then. is real. <gasps> but love all ingredients for pizza. How can I make a cheese-free mm. pizza? Mm. Oh, no. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Save the day, please. I'm tears, threading tears on my... On my uh, ah, formage, formage. formage. Ah, formage. Yeah, but it's, some people are even allergic to cheese. Yeah, you know, 100%, to say dairy well, in general, yeah. yeah. So what we've got here today, what you do is your pizza base, we put some olive oil on it with tomato paste, some beautiful mushrooms, caramelized onions, that's also going to give that nice and, and creamy mm. feeling, bacon and wh whatever you want to put on it, okay? But now, to give it extra creaminess, we're going to take some cream. Ah. A klein bit room. Okay, so this is specifically not, not dairy, we're talking about removing the cheese. Cheese, mm -hmm. removing okay. the cheese. So what we've done here, a bit of pepper, a bit of salt. Because again, it's that, that craving is part texture, part taste. Absolutely. Yes. So when you're and eating a pizza, you don't want it to feel dry or feel too yes, crunchy. You so need that is, balance. You yes, know? absolutely. And if you want a crunchiness, what I've done before is like cut a potato very, very thin. And oh. so what I will do, I will put a bit of this cream, sprinkle it on top. And then what I'll do, I'll cut some potato very thin and put it on and top so it like up. crisps up. Mm. So you're going to get that crispy creaminess. Delicious. Oh. And an extra dash of carbs. <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed. And flavor. You, trust I mean, me, the, yeah. if you be eating a pizza, you be failing already, okay? So <laughs> can, that's a cheat day meal for sure. sure yeah. you know? And you can add any herb that you like mm. to your cream. You oh, know, that is so clever. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so clever. If you want to give us a shout, 021-4309-886, that's the number to dial. We're going to help you um, get the best out of your scones mm. Um, mm. Uh, in just a moment. But let's see what else is coming up in your feel-good breakfast show. Oh, you can make my day.